video we're going to look at an application of the upper fence. So we have a credit card company that has fraud detection service that determines if a card has any unusual activity. And the company maintains a database of daily charges on a customer's credit card. So days when the card was inactive or excluded from the database, if a day's worth of charges appears unusual, the customer is contacted to make sure the credit card has not been compromised. So we want to use the following daily charges round to the nearest dollar to determine the amount the daily charge daily charges must exceed before the customer is contacted. So we want to know the, um, the amount that they must exceed. So we're looking for the upper um, fence here. So I've already typed my data in. So what do we need for the upper fence? We need um, Q3 and the IQR. And since we need IQR, that means that we also need Q1. All right. So I've typed my data in. So I'm going to do stat, go over to calc. And then press enter, and then to build that habit again, I'll put my data in L1, so I'm going to press enter. And scroll down here. So Q1 is um, 84, and Q3 here is 138. So now let's find our upper fence. So the upper fence is going to be Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR. So we need to find IQR first. So that is going to be 138 minus 84. So again, IQR is the range of the middle 50% of the data values. And IQR goes with median, and we want to use that when our data is skewed, so 54. So now we can say this is going to be 138 for IQR plus, sorry, for the upper fence. Um, so 138 plus 1.5 times 54. So we're talking our calculator, 138 plus 1.5 times 54, we get 219. So um, our values there, so, um, so they must exceed $219 before the um, customer there is contacted. There's an application of using the um, upper fence.